Praise the Lord friends, welcome back to Spiritual Morsels. The Bible tells us about a tree, a tree that is planted by rivers of flowing water. We read this in Sam chapter 1. It is not a tree that has grown there by itself. It is not a wild tree. It says it has been planted there by somebody with a purpose because he has planted it besides rivers of flowing water. There are rivers flowing on both sides of the tree. The idea is that if the water on one in on one side of the tree dries up it will get water from the other side it is it is to make sure that the tree is always supplied with what it needs so that its leaves will always remain green there is a purpose behind it if the tree is always green it has a time an appointed time to bear fruit and at that appointed time the tree will be able to bear fruit friends wherever god has planted you he has a plan he has a purpose behind it you see if you cease to get comforted from some people from some people whom you used to get comforted God will provide you with another set of people another family another group of people who will give you the comfort that you need in short God will always make sure that your leaves will not wither he has a purpose he has a plan he has an annoying appointed time for you in your life to bear fruit and that will happen because he is the one who has planted you but there is a condition all this will happen in your life if you follow what has what is written in verse 1 it says blessed is the man who does not do certain things it says blessed is the man who does not walk in a particular area who does not go and stand in a particular place who does not sit among a group of people it says blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked in our lives let's examine ourselves when we live our daily lives you know we get advices from a lot of people whose advice do we follow do we choose to follow the advice of God fearing people or do we follow the advice of the world next it says he who does not stand among sinners stand in the way of sinners you see many times when we are with our friends when we are you know in many many times in our lives we feel that oh it's okay i'm not going to sin but these are my friends i need to give them company we need to be bold enough to say i am sorry i cannot come to, with you in so and so place i cannot stand with you over here in so and so please since this is happening this is not the place where I can stand. We need to be bold enough to say that. We should never think that I will not fall because Paul says in 1st Corinthians chapter 10 verse 12. So if you think you are standing firm, be careful that you don't fall. You see friends, it is easy for us to deceive ourselves. We feel that we can stand, but it is very easy to fall into temptation. It says, the Bible says that when we start walking in a certain way, and when we start standing at certain places, we become so comfortable that we start sitting there. It says, blessed is the man who does not sit among mockers we become so comfortable in that lifestyle that we never realize when we started sitting among mockers sometimes we it becomes easy for us to mock the men of God to mock the children of God it and we don't feel guilty about it we need to examine ourselves where are we right now the Christian life is a life of discipline we are called to be disciples and not just be a member of any church the Bible says that Jesus has called us to be his disciples and discipleship requires a life of discipline I pray and I encourage each one of us to examine ourselves and live a life of discipline in the coming days and the discipline is what we read in verse 2 he delights in the law of the Lord and he meditates on the law of the Lord day and night I pray that we develop this discipline in our lives and we get the boldness to say no to certain things so that we will be like the tree planted by streams of flowing water. God bless you.